Okay, those of us that are watching the pocket spreadsheet demonstration video will know that we're looking to transfer a file from a sign organizer to to a laptop or PC. I've got my sign organizer here and I've got a pocket spreadsheet in uh, slot B at the back. What I need now is I need a comms link. I have a comms link here. I have a USB comms link. I bought it new off the uh, eBay store, the powerful Pierre. He's got everything you need for the sign organizer. I'm going to plug it into the uh, USB port on my tablet. And you can hear it boot. What's really good is that the uh, USB port the, uh, is now powering my uh, comms link. As you can see. And when I plug this into the top slot in the organizer, it's now powering the organizer. So if I needed to change the batteries, I could do so now because the organizer is getting power from my uh, USB port. When I turn on the organizer, I'll see if I can get it in focus for you. I'm going to go to the bottom of the menu, and normally at the bottom of the menu would be a comms option. And that's not there yet because you need to press on clear twice to force the uh, organizer to pull the boot software off a device, in this case, in this case the comms link, and then uh, put it into memory. So you'll see now that I've now got a comms option on my menu. You need to do this before you go into a pocket spreadsheet or another uh, application to ensure that when you want to send or receive a file the comms link's booted and ready to do so. If it's the first time you've actually used the comms link you'll need to go into comms link and set up to actually set the protocol to Scion to make sure that everything's automated and everything's automatic. What we need to do now is we need to now go into the spreadsheet. So I'm going to navigate to a menu option called Plan, which is the menu option for the pocket spreadsheet. I'm going to load a file, Mode, File, Load, and I'm going to use the down arrow key to cycle through all the uh, files that I have on my uh, memory, which is the A drive. And I'm going to load this one, PA257. And this is the file that I now want to send to the, uh, to the organizer. Sorry, to the tablet. And I need to do this by setting up the tablet ready to receive uh, my commands. I need, I'm going to refocus the camera now on the uh, tablet or PC to set up a piece of software called Sci2Win which will deal with the uh, comms protocols actually on the uh, tablet, PC or laptop. I'm going to refocus the camera now and then we'll have a look at uh, setting up Sci2Win ready to receive the files. OK. So now we're looking at the tablet, PC, or laptop, and we've got Sci2 when running. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's running quite successfully, but what I want to do now, for the purpose of this exercise, is I want to create an error, so that if you come across this error, you'll have some idea how you might want to deal with it. So I'm going to create the error by disconnecting the USB port, you heard it disconnect. I'm going to reconnect it now. And you'll see that there's an error on the front of Sci2Win. Come for access denied. Well, obviously access was denied because we disconnected the port. I'm going to click on setup. And if you look, you'll see that the ports that are unavailable and not available for use are highlighted in red. And the port that is available, I'll just move the cursor off it. Is COM port in my on this laptop tablet? Uh, COM port 4 is the port that's available. You might find on yours 
that it's a different COM port that becomes available. Just out of interest, the original Comslink server for the PC used ports 1 and 2, used COM1 and COM2. They were the uh, serial ports that were available on the original IBM PCs, AT and XTs. Now with the USB port, uh, it, it can use one of a few different ports. The one in green is the one you should be choosing. I've got board rate set to 960, which is fine. Options for file transfer is fine. Printer is fine. I'm going to use it in normal mode, and there is obviously an option to use a print mode. As an aside, because it's got the print mode shown there, this must be build 304. This is the last build that Boris put together where he incorporated this print mode and uh, an opportunity to select a printer. This is very handy if you want to send a file or print a file directly from your organizer through Sci2Win directly to a printer or as in my case here to a PDF writer and create a file in a, on, on a PDF. So if you don't have this option, this print option on the version you're using, then you need to be looking for build 304, which like I said was the last version to be developed. I'm going to click on OK now, because everything's ready to go. And Sci2Win now, it's a comms link server, it just sits in the back waiting for uh, communication from the organiser. The organiser sends and receives the information, the server just does it. The file option at the bottom here of the front of the organizer you would use to set where you want the files to be uh, delivered to. I've got it set up pointing to this directory here uh, which is in Internet Explorer just happens to be called Cyan and Plant and all the files that I send should appear in that window there. So what we'll do now is we'll reset up the, uh, the camera for the Cyan organizer and we'll have a look at exporting a file from the pocket spreadsheet onto this laptop or tablet. Okay, so comms link set up, Sci2 Win set up. I'm in my pocket spreadsheet. I should now be able to uh, export the file from the Sci and Organizer pocket spreadsheet. I'm going to press mode to bring up my memory, file, export, I've got a, a various choices, I'm going to choose a copper separated values file, a CSV file, and I'm going to give it a name that will uh, will appear on the, uh, the file name for the actual laptop, tablet or PC. I'm going to call it HPC, delete, delete, HPC, height plane of collimation uh, and I'm going to send that and we should have seen it uh, appear in the uh, explorer directory on the, la on the tablet so there it is when I get my screen back going get the screen back I know that the file has gone what I'm also going to do is I'm going to back up this file so I'm going to come out of my spreadsheet, I'm going to go into one of my apps, the, uh, the comms link itself won't export uh, certain types of files. You need to uh, use a program that's in the comms link manual, uh, I've got that and stored here. One of the programs in the comms link manual is a program called send all, uh, but I've adapted that to uh, send just a particular file. So I'm going to select send file, uh, I'm going to send a plant art file, the file extension for a plant art file uh, for a pocket spreadsheet file is OB5, so it's an organizer binary file type 5, I'm going to send that, and of course the file name that I loaded a minute ago was PA turn on numbers 25, whoops, didn't get numbers turned on, turn on numbers two five seven I'm going to uh, export or send that file and uh, we should see it appear 
on the laptop or tablet and I've got my menu back so the file's gone I can turn that back uh, I can go back to the main menu and I can turn off my organizer and that's it so the next video will be about examining this uh, HPC CSV file and seeing if we can't uh, get something similar in Microsoft Excel so that's all for this video We'll see you in uh, in part two.